Oh please, stop being so naive. Of course you need antivirus for the Mac. Today we're reviewing Norton Internet Security for the Mac from Symantec. This is the latest version for the Mac currently. Uh, they will be releasing a new one very soon. I assume when uh, OS X Lion comes out. But why do you need antivirus for the Mac? I mean, isn't that the whole reason you got a Mac? Macs don't get viruses. Wrong. Of course they get viruses. They just don't get viruses as easily as PCs. Why? Well, because they're not targetable like PCs are. Most people who create viruses make them for people who use PCs because they know they can target many more people because many more people use PCs. Not so many people use Macs. But yes, you are still susceptible to uh, viruses on the Mac. And as Apple becomes bigger and the Macintosh platform becomes even bigger, uh, viruses will be made for it. But Norton Internet Security for the Mac doesn't just cover viruses. No, it's internet security. It's not just an antivirus. It is internet security. This means it gives you control on how applications connect to the internet, who can connect to your Mac, and what those people are allowed to do. It, it, it's innovative, customizable, it has a two-way firewall, helps make intelligent incoming and outgoing security decisions for you, for you, you don't have to do anything, it automatically detects new networks, helps you set security settings, and remember these settings for future use. Now there are tons of new features in internet security for the Mac, but I'm just going to go over a few today which I thought were pretty, pretty uh, killer features. So first up, I want to show you an awesome feature called Location Specific Security Settings. And it's here in the Norton Firewall application, which I'll just bring up over here. You can see you've got a few tabs on the side, Status, Firewall Settings, Location Awareness Settings, and Advanced Settings. Um, today we're just going to focus on Location Awareness Settings. Uh, but basically, it lets you sp uh, specify different connection blocking settings for every network that your portable Mac connects to. This lets you use strict protection when connected to untrusted networks and more relaxed protection when you're connected to trusted networks. So right now, I have set to home, but there's also ne uh, no network access, office, server only, and traveling. These are awesome options. I've never seen this in an antivirus before, and it's great to have it on the Mac. This is going to be great for when you're obviously on no network access, so that it'll make sure that I guess nothing's uh, nothing bad is happening in your computer while you're not online, uh, because bad things can still happen to your computer while you're not online. Viruses uh, could have gotten in while you were online, and now that you're not online, it could be mucking around with your files, screwing things up for you, and that's what that setting is for. You've got the office setting, so if you're at work, um, I mean your office should pretty much have a good uh, antivirus and security setup um, at their at their actual premises, but uh, this is just an extra feature if you're bringing your own uh, laptop, your own Mac to your office, which is really good. You've also got the server option if you're actually uh, running a server, and traveling. Now, traveling is going to be an awesome feature for people who just pack up their MacBook Pro or their MacBook or any sort of laptop. Well, I guess it would have to be Mac because this is the Mac version. But it's just great if you pack up your laptop, you go overseas or to another city or another country, and you're bound to connect to uh, just any random networks um, which your computer might not be used to. And these are the perfect settings for it. You could be in some random country connecting to somebody's wireless, China, Facebook people at home. And this is going to be the perfect setting for it because it knows exactly what to do when you're away and what to look out for. Um, you've also got the Manage Settings tab, so you can actually import uh, and export settings. You can also duplicate and, ex and create new settings and modify settings that you have created. Preset locations, home office traveling cannot be deleted, unfortunately. But uh, that, no, that's actually really good. We don't want it to be deleted. It's an awesome feature. And uh, that brings me to the second feature I wanted to show you, which is called Phishing Protection. Phishing Protection is actually uh, in the Norton Confidential uh, application, and it uh, allows you to, it compares each web page you visit with an up-to-date list of known fraudulent pages. It examines each web page to see if it contains the characters of fraudulent pages. This is really awesome. I believe, I'm not sure if it works with uh, Chrome. I'm currently using Chrome on the Mac. I'm sure it works with uh, Firefox and Safari, which are built, well, Safari is built into the Mac, but I'm sure it works with Firefox as well. 
So basically, Norton has a giant database uh, in their servers somewhere in the cloud, I guess. Um, a, da a giant database and list of uh, dodgy, harmful websites uh, for users. And if you ever go to one of those websites and it picks up the IP address of that website, it'll go back to the server, bounce back, and say, hey, this guy is trying to access this dodgy website. Better warn him. So it actually pulls up a warning in front of your screen, as you can see in this image here. And uh, it will tell you that this is a dangerous site and uh, it doesn't advise you to actually go there. Um, you've also got a uh, you've also got a green bar which says site verified if the uh, site has actually been verified by Norton and what Norton actually does it actually collects a lot of information while you're surfing the web determining uh, what sites are safe and what aren't uh, what sites aren't safe and it actually sends it back to the Norton servers and then uh, it uses it later on uh, as a reference in their in their database uh, to warn other users uh, don't worry Norton does not send personal information uh, only the information that it, it needs uh, to warn other users so that was the second awesome feature about uh, Norton for the Mac now the third is virus scanning now this is just a plain antivirus scanner that you'd get on any other computer which is which is robust it works very well you can see here I've got the main screen you've got the status and scanning tab over here you've got the automatic protection tab over here and it just works like a regular antivirus you can scan your entire system or specific files you can actually uh, browse for files here and then scan for it um, you've got preferences here so you can actually edit them and uh, we've also got the automatic protection, so you can have auto protect, uh, vulnerability protection, and schedule protection. So you can actually schedule uh, protections for, I guess, either a daily, uh, weekly, or monthly basis, which is really nice. So all in all, I highly recommend the uh, Norton Internet Security for the Mac. It's very good. Um, and yes, you do need antivirus for the Mac. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, they have obviously never um, been attacked on a Mac before but you don't want to be attacked on a Mac stop the viruses before they get to you and install internet security for the Mac by Norton uh, retails for around 99 Australian dollars so I urge you to get it from uh, any reasonable electronics store out there uh, Dick Smith I believe probably sells it at Harvey Norman JB Hi-Fi Harris Technology uh, or even online you can actually buy it from their website Symantec.com.au. So this has been Daniel for Live Tech Australia uh, reviewing the Norton Symantec Internet Security Mac Edition. And once again, a big thanks to the guys down at Symantec for giving us these products to review.